Okay, next very important definition: resolution of force. Now, how do you define that resolution? This is very important. In Mumbai University syllabus, you have resolution of force into two components. You can resolve force into two components. Two components means it can be either two perpendicular components, or you can resolve the single force into two components which are not perpendicular to one another. But what exactly is that resolution of force? So, resolution of force. it is a method of representing single force say f into two of its components so let us have two components perpendicular to one another for example now this force f so it is making an angle theta with horizontal now let us resolve that into two components so say when you resolve it you have two components as shown force along x direction or horizontal second is force along y direction now this is resolving force into two components which are perpendicular to one another they are also called as rectangular component of force or orthogonal component of forces now how do you exactly define resolution of force it is method of representing single force into two of its components and you are applying these two components in such a way that it won't change the effect of force now simple example say i am applying a force of uh, any magnitude to this body now because of this force let us assume there is going to be displacement through say 2 meter through 2 meter now what i'll do is instead of this f if i apply these two forces i'll replace this force by two components this f along x direction and this is fy i'm replacing this by these two components the effect will remain same the body will tend to move through 2 meter only so that is called as without changing the effect that means resolution of force is a method of representing single force into two of its components without changing the effect now how to get the components fx and fy this is very important as far as statics is concerned because whatever the topics just now i told you under statics they are all depending on resolution of force so how to get these two components now so let us construct the right angle triangle i am dropping a line perpendicular to x axis this is x axis you have a y axis here say the triangle obtained right angle triangle obtained is oab now let us use the trigonometry here from right angle triangle oab cos theta is equal to what you can write is adjacent side by hypotenuse side that is ob divided by oa along ob you have a horizontal component of force whereas along oa you have the given force f now we want x and y component of forces so you can write force along x direction is given by f into cos theta now this is equation you can use for fx always f multiplied by cos theta provided theta is what inclination of force with horizontal if you take this theta with vertical then this becomes sin because you will be using their cos theta sin theta accordingly it will change right 
so generally how you can remember is always you remember the inclination of force with the horizontal only if it is given with vertical you can easily convert that with horizontal by using 90 minus this angle suppose this angle is 30 then 90 minus 30 you get theta equal to 60 so in that case always you remember x component as always always multiplied by cos theta now in order to generalize this because component of force along x direction may be either towards right or left of course it is horizontal only but whether it is acting right or left how do you know so in order to differentiate that you can generalize let us generalize the term x component is given by plus or minus f cos theta so in general you remember for x component the equation is plus or minus f cos theta now when to use this positive sign positive sign we use when the direction of force is towards right and negative sign is used when the direction of force is towards left because horizontal means it can be right or left similarly you can get y component of force so for that let us use sin theta now this fy whatever i have shown here along y direction can be vectorially represented over here you can shift that vectorial so you get fy here so now from again right angle triangle oab you can write sin theta is equal to ab divided by oa so along ab you have force along y direction divided by along oa the given force f is acting so from this what you get is fy f sin theta so what you can see here is if inclination of force is with horizontal then x component is multiplied by cos with f whereas y component is multiplied by sin with f now here also along y direction the force can act either upward or downward of course it is vertical but whether going upward or downward in order to differentiate that let us generalize the equation will use plus or minus along y direction right upward we use sign convention positive we use for upward direction and minus sign we use for downward direction so this is very important right so always what i do is if inclination of force is given with vertical generally i tell students to convert that with horizontal so that you can only remember for x component it is f cos theta whereas for y component f sin theta with the plus or minus and you know what is plus and then minus so this is about the resolution of force into two perpendicular components next how do you know whether the force given force its x component will act right left or y component will act upward or downward now to know that I'll take few cases. So take a simple case, this is a force F and you will be given with angle theta either with horizontal or vertical. So here how do you know whether it's horizontal component is acting right or left or vertical component is acting upward or downward so for that what you can remember is this hand rule right this index finger index finger always indicates the given force whereas these two fingers they are the perpendicular components now you know the force is going this way this is the index finger so that indicates the given force and these two are perpendicular to one another you can see x is acting right and y is going upward so x component will be towards right and y would be acting upward and you know the general equation just now we have derived that general equation what is that fx is given by plus or minus f cos theta and fy is given by plus or minus f into sin theta i am assuming theta is always with horizontal so here you can see fx is acting towards right so therefore you can use positive 
equation will remain same this is f into cos theta y component upward plus downward minus so this is going upward so it is positive and you know the equation plus f into sin theta now i'll change the direction of force let us see what will happen so this is force f now going downward of course inclination theta is horizontal now you can see here this force index finger always indicate the given force it is going this way and these two are the component of forces now what you can see is this is the force given downward these are the two perpendicular components x component is left y component is down so that you can mark here x component is left y component is downward so x component of force is given by what it is towards left means it is minus sign the general equation will remain same minus f cos theta and y is given by it is going down downward means minus and equation you know it is f sin theta now i'll take few more cases force f say making an angle theta with horizontal so here the index finger will show the given force it is going this way and then these two are the perpendicular components what you can see is x component is going towards left y is going upward so can show those direction x is left y is upward so x component is given by minus because it is towards left as per our sign convention and y component is going up so it is plus equation will remain same so this is minus f into cos theta and this is plus f into sin theta same way one more case just i change the direction there so now the index finger you can show this way this is the direction of force and these two would be component of forces x and y so what you can see here is x component will go right y component will move downward so what you can write is this is minus sorry plus because it is going towards right plus f cos theta and fy is going downward so it is minus f into sin theta now you may ask if force purely acts along x direction or if it acts along y direction then what would be component of x and y so let us consider those cases let us take a force acting horizontally towards left force f only now if force is acting along x direction you know just now we have resolved the forces this was force f these are the axis x and y axis we have taken theta as inclination of force with horizontal now what happens is when f coincides with the horizontal axis then theta becomes zero always you remember when force coincides with the x axis whether it is right or left theta will be equal to zero so for this case it is coinciding with x axis so here what happens is theta is equal to zero right now let us obtain the component of forces you know the general expression for finding x component of force is plus or minus f cos theta i'll write as it is plus or minus f into cos theta now the direction you can see here very easily it is going towards left so it is going to be minus and what is the magnitude of force it is f only cos of theta is what zero now what is cos zero cos zero is equal to one so what you can see is fx becomes minus f 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल सपोज आई सब्सटीट्यूट एफ इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी न्यूटन तो एक्स कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ फोर्स बिकम्स वॉट माइनस ट्वेंटी न्यूटन दैट गिवन फोर्स इट सेल्फ ना वॉट विल हैपन टू इट्स वाई कॉम्पोनेंट Now y component of force, f y is given by plus or minus f into sine theta. So you know theta equal to zero. Let us substitute that f into sine zero. Now what is sine zero? Equal to zero only. So this term would be equal to zero. So what you get is y component is zero. And x component, you know, is given by the given force itself. So what you can conclude is If force purely act along x direction, you will have only x component, and that it, that is what the given force itself. If it is acting towards right, then you get plus twenty. If it acts towards left, you get minus twenty. And what will happen to y component will be equal to zero. There won't be any y component if force acts along x direction because that is very clear here. Theta zero ho raha hai, so f y will be equal to zero. Now, what will happen when the force is vertical? One more case. when force is vertical so consider this force i am taking in upward direction it can be upward or downward i am taking uh, the direction upward now we have resolved the force right so this is the resolution of force this was force f when we derived equation for fx and fy force was making an angle theta Just now, what we have seen here is when force is coinciding with x-axis, theta becomes zero. Now, when force is coinciding with y-axis, when it becomes vertical, so theta क्या होगा? It becomes 90 degrees. So theta becomes 90. Whether it is upward or downward, theta is 90 degree only if it is along y-direction. So here, theta equal to 90 degree. Now let us see what will happen to x and y component. So here x component is given by plus or minus f into cos theta, and you have to substitute theta equal to what 90. And what is cos 90? Cos 90 equal to zero. So therefore this term whole becomes zero. So x component will be equal to zero. Same way, y component is given by plus or minus f into sine theta. You know theta equal to 90 degree, and sine 90 is equal to 1. So you get plus or minus f. Or if I substitute say force is equal to 30 newton, then f y is given by plus or minus 30. But in this case, the force is acting upward. so you can write it is plus 30 newton if it acts down then you can take minus 30 so what you can conclude here from these two so in this you know when force is vertical purely it acts along vertical direction you have only y component the y component of force is the magnitude of given force itself so that is in this case 30 newton if it acts upward then fy is plus 30 if it acts down then it is fy minus 30 fx is always zero from here when force acts purely along x direction will have only x component and y component becomes zero so this is all about the resolution of forces and very very important as far as statics is concerned